What's up everybody? I'm Shibuka, and welcome back to Distant Worlds. I've never been this close to the core of our galaxy. Much of the last four or five thousand light years of travel has been spent under the galactic plane, showing the stark contrast between the spiral arms of the Milky Way and the inky blackness below. But as we're heading upward and coreward, the number of visible stars is quite literally one of the most amazing things I've seen, and they're only growing in number. Closing in on Sagittarius, there's another threat to our journey. The increasing number of non-sequence main stars. Neutron stars, typically about 60 kilometers in diameter, formed by the supernova explosion of a star insufficiently massive to produce a black hole. White dwarfs, whose mass is comparable to that of our sun, but whose size is comparable to that of Earth and black holes, whose gravitational field is so intense that no object could possibly escape from it. As with all things worth investigating and exploration, these phenomena are deadly if the correct precautions aren't made, but are equally as beautiful. This is the aspect of exploration that non-explorers rarely understand. The void is not without its hazards, and it takes constant focus and determination to see the wonders of the Milky Way without ending up a smoking field of debris. Arriving in the new Botany Bay system, the entry point is a neutron star. But 23,000 light seconds away sits an M-class star, where Waypoint 8's rendezvous was scheduled a few days earlier. Orbiting this star are the four famous Earth-like worlds nicknamed Eora, Bejigal, Gweagal, and Kumigal. I can't stay for long though because I have another 3,400 light years to traverse before I'm caught up with the fleet. On the way, I'm greeted by my first supergiant. A red supergiant, and a blue. These stars are massive and quite sweat inducing to feel from, but they are wonderful marvels to look at. With the planetary nebula next door to Waypoint 9 coming into view, I'm reinvigorated with the knowledge that I've caught up with the rest of the Distant Worlds expedition. It's taken a lot of refueling, a lot of jumping, and a whole lot of perseverance to cross this much distance quickly, but my efforts are rewarded. At the heart of this nebula is a black hole, bending the light of the core and surrounding gases in a hypnotizing display of Einstein's theory of general relativity. These sights are what quenches my thirst for discovery. To see things most haven't, to go places most wouldn't dream of, to just go. For more information on the Distant Worlds Expedition, check out the official thread on the Frontier forums. A link is in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for updates on my travels. Fly safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.